Okay, so, oh wait, isn't there a whole thing where I have to, like, light all the furnaces? Where is that furnace? Somewhere around. Uh, uh, they're all supposed to be in a line, right? So, I'm gonna follow these. My torch stay lit in the rain. Normally, no, but it is that blue, blue special torch. Wait, I'm getting off track. Okay, there's some... The last marker was where? Okay, there's a marker. Where's the next one? Oh. Okay, so those go up to the lab, so I need to follow them this way. The torch won't stay lit in the rain, so we're just kind of at, here at a bad time then. Even with the blue flame. Uh... Dang. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, we're just here at a bad time, I guess. Because I can't really, like... ...do anything. I need to locate where this furnace is, though. I don't even know where it is right now. The last one I saw... Wait, is this it? I like this. No, I'm wrong. Hmm... Okay, the last one I saw was... There. Where's the next one? Uh... Oh, the rain let up. Nice. Okay. I guess let's just keep going. I guess we'll keep going and just look for... Yeah, there's another one. Don't these kind of make a loop? Yeah, whatever. Whoa. How's this path that end? This. Oh, it turns. <laughs> Duh. Oh, wait. Turn, horse, turn. Okay, what's over here? This is the furnace. Oh, wait, there's a big ox over there. Alright, I guess let's head up to the lab first. I think we need to activate that quest anyway. Oh wait, I see it! No wait. Is that the shrine or the... No wait, that's the... No, that's the, that's the furnace. Nice. Okay, let's pin that. There. Ooh, finally. Wow, how did I spot it from here? Kinda whack. Honestly. I think we need to activate this quest. Yeah, Yo, where are you going? Where, where are you going? <laughs> Pebble. Pebble. I know your brain's small, but... That small, dude? Seriously? No, dude. Ah. This way. There we go. Finally. Oh. Oh, man. I'm seeing shrines. Oh. Hurts to pass them up. To pass them up. Okay, so. I know ancient tech lab. Uh, Pira, this is the tech lab. Uh, I do have business with the director. Uh, hmm, director's in the back, you say? Hmm, well, I don't see no uh, director back here, but I will take your son's room. <laughs> Let me in. Ah, <laughs> uh, the thing on my waist, it's a 
Seek a slate. Oh, grab the hoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. Wait, are you saying that I have to grab the hoe? I mean, I might as well grab it. Uh. Okay, so stuff about the story. Uh, director, listen, this is the real Sheikah Slate. So she's the director, and she lied to us. <laughs> I have no idea why I uh, decided to design Pura as they did, but whatever. I guess there's one in all these sort of games. All right, we're grabbing this hoe. Now nah, that's all the hoe. I just didn't. You know, I'm out of, out of weapon slots. I guess I could drop. Drop this. Oh wait. Actually, yeah, those are actually pretty good power. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll keep it. Okay, director time. Um. Something about restoration. Uh, what's it look? You don't remember me? Uh, nope. Hundred years. Don't remember. Have any questions? Aren't you a child? How very rude. <laughs> Perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. Truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I. Document the, the affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing and I insist you refrain from mentioning it. So, adult in a child's body. Interesting. Um, I didn't know it was an experiment though. I thought it was just something else. Whack. Anyway. Uh, so, yes please, restore my things. Run an errand. Uh, and to be fair, I, I didn't really think... Affair. Yeah, the affair. <laughs> An affair turned her into a child. Dang. Okay. So we need to light the furnace. Uh, That's cool that they built one in their thing. He was talking about the scientific. Um... Okay. Let's go read that diary. I think, I think we need to know. Or some stairs. Because sensor notes. Not useful. Alright, where's this where's this upstairs? I need to know. Maybe I climb the building. Wait, wait, this is this is a need to ooh, yes. Stairs. And we're going up them. Nice. Ooh. Uh diary, diary, diary. We got a diary. A diary. Oh, up, we go up more. Hey, there's a volcano. Oh, uh, this must be Pure's room. Alright, alright, let's see. Pure's diary. Uh, research diary, diary for anti aging rune, classified for Pure's eyes only. Date? Question mark. Work has finally begun on my anti aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively re reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make uh, retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. When Calamity Ga Ganon inevitably, inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our offense will be solid, our defense will be impenetrable. Uh, the need for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace after all. Oh, get the quark seat at the top. We'll do. Uh, the beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I have already added it to the Sheikah Slate I made for myself. I am to be the test subject of this experiment. Uh, Silman booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Able to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow, I will try to figure out uh, what went awry. Uh, day 2. My extreme full body fatigue has slightly improved, for which I am grateful. Still, I do not rec recognize uh, the face in my mirror. My hair is thick again, and floor length. Uh, my wrinkles, once deep as trenches, have vanished without a trace. <laughs> it seems the anti-aging effects work. However, I did, did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning I kicked uh, Simon awake and had him run a full physical exam on me. My height, weighs, was, uh, height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood. 
We tested everything we could, pushing our facility to its limit. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical of a Sheikah woman in her early 50s. Wait. 50s? Wait. She was 120? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. I have questions. Wow. Sheikah aged slow. Okay. I can only hope I do not uh, awaken to find that I have the body of a newborn baby. Day 3. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. Uh, now she's in her 30s. Uh, I was around that age when I was first able to continue my research following the Great Calamity. First thing I did uh, was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of this sensor. I was uh, around 80 years old when that expansion was completed. I intend to bequeath uh, this tech to our sleeping hero. I hope to the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of Kalame that solid our Princess Zelda whole. Day 4. Uh, after today's routine physical, uh, the results show that I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is taking literally a century. Um, this is taking me all the way back to when the Great Calamity happened. She was in her teens? Her 20s when Kalame happened? Wow. Whack. Anyway. Uh, Gana has been dormant for uh, 10,000 years. Perhaps its power has been building all that time. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda. Well, perhaps not everything was lost. A youth uh, named Link was brought to me 100 years ago, covered in wounds and on death's doorstep. Link, so young yet so courageous. He was the youngest knight to ever have been appointed to the Imperial Guard at Hyrule Castle. Uh, he was also gifted... A gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in a glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and us Sheikah uh, researchers have had a strong bond. Uh, their pain is our own. We took the swordsman to the Sheikah Slate uh, and the Sheikah Slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Though the Slumber of Restoration uh, had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. The best we could do. Day 5. I worked something horrifying. A scarlet lump scarring my otherwise useful face. After analyzing this monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it was just a pimple. A thick one. Uh, the results of today's physical exam indicate that my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. Uh, I feel like Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. I mean, really? What even? I can do it by myself. In any case, I wonder what uh, experiment I should focus on next. Uh, blue flame's getting weaker by the day. Day six. Uh, progress further. She's a six-year-old now. Height regressed so much that she can't reach things from high places. Um, where's the swordsman? He needs to wake up already. Um, the expansion to the Shika sensor will go to waste if we don't wake up soon. Uh, how are we going to find her anyway? want to go kick Linky away. Um, it'd be hard with my six-year-old body to do that anyway. Uh, begin working on a rune to unreverse my aging process. Day seven. Wow, this is a really long diary. I didn't think we were in for this. <laughs> um, still age six, same as yesterday. Process has stopped. Lucky to have it. Uh, today I also finished um, a beta version of the age boosting rune to be able to reverse the effects of what I put myself through. I need to expose yourself to the rays. Um, Guided Stone has stopped. Blue Flame has gone out. And they couldn't relight it. Uh, yeah, this is super long. Okay, that's it. Uh, the, that's part of the reason why she needs the flame. Okay, so we need to climb to the top. Why is there a guardian just... Oh. I was trying to find a way up, but it didn't look like there. Crap, I fell off it. Whatever. Sorry. I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to come back anyway. Where is the front of this? I'm leaving Pebble here. Anyway. There's the furnace anyway. This is a much straighter shot than taking Pebble all the way down. We have to walk anyway. What if it starts raining right in the middle of this long quest? 
That would be a pain in the butt. Whee! Cool. Okie dokie. And let's get the torch. Torch. Well, that's one way to light a torch. <laughs> Not the way I was expecting, but you know. Whatever works. Torch time. Boop. At least it kind of saves our progress. We can, like, kind of go back and relight ones that we need to. Or relight our torch if it starts raining again. Uh, where's the next one? Yo, I don't see it. See it? Oh wait, there's a path. That would make more sense. Okay. Another one? There we go. Alright. Uh, are there more... I felt like there were more in the other direction, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't see any more. I'm gonna assume there aren't. But... Whee! We haven't gotten that much action tonight, but I guess this is necessary. We'll be at... We will be dry of story for a very long time after this. Till I head over to um, the Zora Domain. Head in the right direction. I'm, just, I'm being super. I'm trying not to miss any of these. Feels like I'm walking a good ways away. I guess it's not that far. Oop. Can't run, I don't think. I think I put my torch away when I do that. Ooh, light the grass. Burn, baby. <laughs> I'm such a responsible citizen of this town. <laughs> like that little toddler who um fired to a house. All went out. Burn. <laughs> hey, it's healthy. We're putting phosphorus back in the ground. Nitrogen. Uh what over here? Ooh, there is. Is there one way over here? They'll pay. They'll all pay. For what? Wait, I can't light that flame. Can I? Yeah. I'll get over there. Ooh. Are there any more over here? Because I'd rather get them all lit. Oh no, Red Moon. Wait, there are more over here. Back. I don't think I'll make it before this red moon is off. Oh. Wait, I can skip the cutscene if I read a sign? No, I was so close. Dang it. Alright. Alright, what do you know about that? Anyway, first blood moon. So, if you don't know what blood moons do, um, they respawn enemies. Dang, I was, I was literally within torching range. They respawn uh, enemies, so all the enemies we defeated, any, any chests from big dungeons or big posts or whatever, they're, they've all come back. Okay, I don't see any more. Kind of weird that there are even some out. We're lighting all this on fire. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see any more. Blood Moons creep me out. I don't like watching that cutscene. Wait, looks like a that's a tree. All right, and I think we just head back up to the lab in that direction. 
You know, what I might do um, after this is like go towards the coast rather than head straight to Zora. Because I kind of want to explore Get around. I think I, I think we all have more fun when I do that. We just get re really funny situations. I'm going to head towards the coast after this. For the last uh, 40 minutes or whatever of the stream. Now, is there one over here? Wait, where does this go? Well, cool. Well, that's the way we're going to go down to the ghost. Why not? You know? I don't remember that path. Uh, yeah. Now we've got to make this big old loop. Ooh, ooh, um. Good thing I carried this torch. Figured I might need it for this and uh, some of the shrines. Yeah, that coast. That coast is clear. Oop. And we're almost there. Come on. Come on, Link. Come on, light it. Got this. Got this. Boom. Finally. Okay. Yeah, not that we're going to be fast traveling, but, you know. Okay, so... Dude, this is not bomb combat. Yo. <laughs> oh my gosh. I completely deleted the data on you. She gets like, go on, take a look. <laughs> oh no, it's because of your inner diary. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Do you like my guidance tone impression? Super bright. <laughs> there you go, girls. Uh, Do you mean impressions for fun? Maybe not. Oh well. Dang, that's funny. 